was customary right to the lake, but Māori were not compensated when the Crown sold, sold rights to create the waves. Instead, they were offered free frequencies to broadcast to Rayo. It's a nonsense to say that Māori are claiming, claiming ownership of the airwaves. That's what the media and some uninformed Māori are saying. Well, that's just being pedantic, isn't it? Whether it's the lake. Wellington, 7.11am. Radio Trackside. You're listening to the Summer of Racing. Brought to you by Inter Islander. Start your holiday with a holiday. My device. Premium nutrition always pays dividends. And they're proud sponsors of Afternoons. Radio Trackside. Melby Gain. And it seems farm water supplies always spring leaks when it's dry, so plumbers are busy. Farmers are starting weaning cows and calves early to help their feed situation. Cows can be put on tighter supplies, some can be culled and they drink less water when not lactating. Calves can then get any better feed that's around. Taranaki is drier by the minute. Pasture growth of 20 kilos a day is about it. Everyone's hoping weatherman Ken rings right and March will be wet. But that's still a little way off. The mid-20 degree days and full sun with cooler nights help a lot, and the fruit's not getting sunburned. But that may seem like an oxymoron, but Mr. Ackerman and John Wilson thinks it's because when the fruit grows in cloudier conditions, and then it suddenly keeps... ...and uh, how two degrees was uh, purchased, and what well, the uh, stake in two degrees was purchased, and then how the money that goes into this trust, the profits, and let's say the $30 million, if they decide to accept the $30 million that rather than have a stake in 4G, that will go back into the, into the Te, Hura, Te Hura Rahitika Trust, and then... ...and answer 50 questions about what we want to see on their program, and then... What, 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 what incentive was that they've got to position their 7 o'clock current affairs uh, uh, slot at TV1? They've got to position it uh, for uh, the changing audience needs of the immediate future. Uh, do, 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 they, do they do that at the expense of alienating the audience that's already there, though? than they should be, and the first maize won't be ready until the 20th of March. And across Cook Strait, the uh, Nelson Motueka region could certainly do with some rain. The landscape is brown with just a tinge of green in the hollows. Farmers are looking at unloading any surplus stock. That's quite a difficult prospect with the dry being widespread and most people short on feed. Lambs with sufficient weight on are being packed off to the works. Orchardists have loved the fine week. Packing sheds are cranking up for the apple harvest, and the first coxes and royal gala are coming off. There's a wide barrier. Oh, I guess We've got uh, Highlanders open side flanker John Hardy. John, uh, you got through 80 minutes. You'd be happy with that? Yeah, no, it was, it was good to get through 80, but it wasn't the result we wanted. And, yeah, it was a turning point when I dropped the ball down the corner and uh, disappointing, but those things happen, i just got to move on. Slow first half from the Highlanders. You managed to get into it just probably before the half-time balance scored a nice try, but it, you took a while to get into the game. 
yeah, like, um, we're at the... Uh, ana